Now that we have seen how to use use rate user with simple and complex state and action, there is one more feature of use rate user I want to show you, and that is lazy initialization. You might remember this from our earlier lesson on use state. We learned that use state can accept a function when the initial value requires some extra work. React calls that function only once during the first render. It is perfect for situations where calculating the initial value is expensive. Well, guess what? Use rate user has this feature too. The pattern looks a little different, but the idea is exactly the same. Let me show you. We will stay with our counter example for now. This time, instead of always starting from zero, imagine we want the counter to start from a value stored in local storage. For example, a value saved from a previous session. So in the source folder, create a new file called counter with init.jsx and copy the code from counter with reducer.jsx file and paste it. Update the component name to counter with init. So far, this is the same setup we already know. State is a number and actions are just strings. Increment, decrement and reset. Now we will add lazy initialization on top of this. With use state, we passed a function as the initial value. With use reducer, we keep the initial state as the second argument, but we add an optional third argument, an init function. Let's define this init function outside the component. Const init is equal to an arrow function. The init function receives one argument, which is whatever we pass as the second argument to use reducer. In our case, that is initial state or initial count with a value of zero. So specify initial value. Within the function body, first we will add a console log to see when the function is called. Init function called, this only runs once. Next, we try to read count from local storage. So const save count is equal to local storage dot get item and let's assume count is what we store. If we find a value, so if saved count is not equal to null, we parse it and return it. Let's add a console log statement found saved count and then the saved count constant and we return parse end saved count. If there is no count value in local storage, we return the initial value we passed in. So console log, no saved count using initial value. And what is the initial value? The argument that's passed in. And we return initial value. React will call init, passing in initial count only once when the component mounts and use the return value as the actual initial state. Let's import this component into app.jsx and test it in the browser. So import counter with init from dot slash counter with init and then invoke the component. In the browser, on the very first load, we have nothing stored in local storage. So in the console, you should see init function called, this only runs once, no saved count using initial value zero, and then the same repeats because of React's strict mode. The UI also reflects the same. Count is zero to begin with. Now saving to local storage when the count changes requires a different hook that we haven't covered yet. But we can still test the lazy initialization by manually writing to local storage. So in the console, type local storage dot set item. The key is going to be count and the value Let's assume 42. Press enter, then refresh the page. Now look at the console. Init function called, this only runs once. Found saved count, the value is 42. On the screen, the counter starts at 42 now. If you click increment a few times, so the count is 47, and refresh again, it goes back to 42. This is expected because we are only reading from local storage, not writing to it. But the main thing to notice is this. 
if you click the button several times, increment or decrement, and look at the console, you will not see the log from the init function again. It only runs once on the first render. And this is the whole point of lazy initialization. You do the expensive or external work once. React reuses that result on every subsequent render. Now remember, the init argument is completely optional. Most of the time, just passing a simple value as the second argument to use reducer is enough. To summarize, useReducer accepts an optional third argument, an init function. React calls init once, passing it the second argument. Whatever init returns becomes the actual initial state. The init function only runs when the component mounts, not on every render. It is ideal for expensive initial computations or reading from external sources like local storage. Now, use state and useReducer might seem like two completely different hooks but they are more connected than you might think. Something very interesting coming up.